localizing your knowledge base and translating it into multiple languages is crucial. And here we want to show you how simple it is with Help Choose. So first and foremost, you want to start off by adding a language. So you just hover over here, click on here, and then you can click on add a language or send to the settings page, it'll take you to the same page. Uh, in that page, what you want to do is you want to have your default language set. Uh, make sure you allow it and uh, first make sure there's any protected terms. Let's say you don't want to translate the term help juice to Spanish, right? You want help juice to remain and maybe it's a brand word so you can simply add it as a term, right? So what I do there is I click on save then. Anyway, next on if you want to add a language, what you do is you click on add new language here. It'll then present to you which, er which uh, language, in this case let's just add Arabic. I can then copy over content and I can obviously automatically translate that content that I've copied over and then I can even assign a person in particular uh, to translate that that content and review it every time there's new content published. Now that you saw how easy it is to add a language I want to show you what it's like to access it. So here I just click on view knowledge base as you can see I'm on the English so obviously I'm going to be on the English version. So now here I'm in, I'm on the English UK version if I want to switch versions I just click here and then I can switch let's say I want to switch to French. And as you can see, this is my French knowledge base. Not everything has been translated, therefore that's why there's missing content. Now if I copied over content automatically with from English, you could you would then see the same content from English that has been copied over. Obviously I didn't copy, that's why it's pretty empty. Now furthermore, you can also manually or automatically translate an article in the editor. So let's just say I have this article and I want to add a translation for, to it. So as you can see here, I'm going to show you the, the published version of it, History of London. It's in English, as you can see. If I click on Add a Translation, I'm going to click on French, and I'm not going to assign this. I'm, all, I'm going to automatically translate it, though, and I'm going to leave it to be in Support Home. I'm not going to categorize it. So with one click of a button, it's going to take that, automatically translate it, and then I can review it. If it looks good, I can click on Marcus Translated, and therefore it's been verified. It's good to go. So now, now I'm going to go ahead and publish this article. Now that it's been published, I can see uh, the French version of it. Of course, it's automatically translating for me in uh, thanks to Google Chrome. But as you can see, I can see the uh, French version of this article and I can switch from French to English and see different, um, different versions of this article. As you can see, it's ENGB here. As I switch to French, it switches it up and loads up the proper article. Now furthermore, you can also have a side-by-side -side translation view. This is fantastic if you're a translator and you want to manually kind of translate articles as opposed to having help juice do it. But you could obviously also click on auto translate and help juice will automatically translate the article for you at any time. And that's it. That's how the help juice article translation and localization feature works. Thanks.